the headline at Infowars.com that says it all with the video clip of the sheriff on the news nationally. Uh, of course, uh, guest of this broadcast as well, now becoming really a national leader uh, because of his articulate, uh, educated, informed, libertarian slash conservative stance. And that, of course, is Sheriff David Clark, who I'd love to see run for president. I mean, this guy's really has it down. I've seen him get up and give hour-long speeches to groups online. I've seen the speeches, and he just really knows what he's talking about. He doesn't have notes, doesn't have a teleprompter. Uh, he's the real deal, and just everything he says makes complete sense. He's really got it. And the video's up on Infowars.com. Sheriff David Clark, Barack Obama, started this war on the police. The Milwaukee County Sheriff said that Obama and Holder laid the groundwork for this war on police. We're going to be playing some of those clips coming up today. He also pointed out that Black Lives Matter was founded by communist organizations and the lady that they admit is their founding mother is in Cuba and is on the FBI's most wanted terror list for killing a cop and is involved with other groups organizing the killing of police. And you have to understand, the White House has been caught, and so has Hillary, and so has Nancy Pelosi, with their staffers inside Black Lives Matter at the national level, pushing this narrative with Al Sharpton and with MSNBC and CNN. So we know this is going on. I'm going to break down why this is happening in a moment. Because this is the key. If you understand the mindset of these people, and if you understand why they're doing this and how they're getting away with it, then you understand everything else. You understand the culture of the socialists and the communists. You understand their worldview. You understand, most importantly, how to defeat them. Now, that said, here is the headline out of ABC News 13 in Houston. Suspect arrested and charged with fatally shooting Harris County Deputy Darren Goforth. A suspect in custody charged in Friday night's shooting death of a Harris County deputy. At a press conference Saturday afternoon, Harris County Sheriff Ron Hickman announced that Shannon J. Miles, 30, a person who had been in custody since early Saturday morning, is charged with capital murder. Miles is accused, did it in front of witnesses and on video, uh, so I don't think there's any accused about it, of killing Deputy Darren Goforth, 47, in northwest Harris County. Shot him three times in the back and then stood over him and unloaded the firearm. Investigators say Deputy Goforth had worked an accident scene at 8.30 p.m., then went to a gas station at Teagle and West Road. He was pumping gas, detectives say, when Miles approached Deputy Goforth from behind, said nothing, and fired multiple shots. Once he fell to the ground, authorities say Miles fired more shots at the deputy. Deputy Goforth was pronounced dead at the scene. Now, here's why this is important before I to get into why the White House is doing this. Friday and then Saturday, when we had video of the guy, the news would just say a dark-complected man. That's how politically correct this has gotten, where major universities now are banning the word man and woman, boy and girl, he or she. I have that in the news today. And I know you've heard me talk about this for years, but now it's being done. It's not being proposed. It's being done. You have to understand... This is a cult takeover, but it's scientific. These are not whack jobs. These are not, these are not people that, that are just forcing their agenda on us. This is a planned rollout. And you notice it's being done by the establishment bipartisanly. The Republican leadership is doing nothing to stop all this. So how does banning the word boy or girl, man or woman, from government documents and from use in universities, how does that tie to cop killing? I'm going to explain in a moment. But they wouldn't even say it was obviously connected to all these calls to go out and kill cops. I mean, every couple days, a police officer is shot in the back or shot in their patrol car or shot in their head or shot while they're helping somebody. It always seems to be when they're like helping, you know, to wreck scene, whatever. And it's black people walking up and doing it. And it's being promoted and pushed by some of the New Black Panther Party and other organizations. 
Now, you have free speech in this country, but you don't have free speech to say, go out and start killing a particular group. That's a call to action. And I know it's popular to hate police. I understand that's pushed in the culture. I get criticized when I explain that just hating on the police will be basically manipulated and used by the globalists to bring this country down. And I'm going to break that down as well. We need to reform the police. We need peace officers, not enforcers, not tax collectors. There are a lot of problems. Society has a lot of problems. The globalists are at the head of this. They're the engineers of it. We need to change the policy, not hate police out of hand. There's a reason the globalists hate the police, and I'm going to explain coming up. But any time there's a totalitarian takeover, the main purge comes second of the police and military. So you want to see the police and military gone after? You're seeing the demonization of them right now, and that is the greatest sign that we're in deep, deep trouble and a real, hardcore authoritarian takeover is going to happen. I've studied history, folks. They're following a blueprint. And I am getting chills right now. I don't say that for effect. When I really get on air and start focusing on the facts, it freaks me out, even though I was already ready and preparing to come in here today. When I really sit back and focus on it and look at it, it is so chillingly diabolical. That's why they have the term, chillingly. Because you get chills when you open up a basement and there's 10 dead kids. You get chills when you find the, the manifesto of a plan to carry out a terror attack. You get chills when you know there's evil happening and the chills are endorphins and adrenaline being released to take action. My body physiologically, when I look at these enemy plans, gets ready for fighting, okay? Because that's how real it is, folks. I cannot express to you how serious this situation is and how close we are to the top completely blowing off and all hell breaking loose. The globalists have been preparing this for a long time, the takedown of America. And America's got some serious problems, but what they're gonna replace it with is nothing less than hell on earth. It'll make the French Revolution look like a cakewalk. And the senseless murder to just walk up and randomly shoot somebody you don't even know in the back i mean yeah if a cop say raped one of my daughters hypothetically and 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 broke her back just just hypothetically and then he didn't go to prison for that i might do something like that who wouldn't he didn't even know this guy and the media won't even say there even the sheriff so politically correct down there in houston they are so politically correct that they're going, we don't know the motive, we don't know why. It's completely obvious. Breitbart's got the report. It's up on Infowars.com. Texas deputy executed days after black radical group calls for killing cops. I mean, this is all over the place. These same groups call for people to come after Infowars, folks. And what David Clark has pointed out is that radical Islamists, ISIS groups, hoods, thugs, hoodlums, the whole prison culture, the bad prison cultures, a lot of innocent people in prison, but the really nasty perp culture is fusing with a bunch of misfits, I'm basically paraphrasing him, into this Black Lives Matter movement. When we've covered this, probably a third of the people are white or Hispanic who are out there wanting to rob stuff. Is it open season on law enforcement in this country? Judge, I am too pissed off tonight to be diplomatic about what's going on, and I'm not going to stick my head in the sand about it. I said last December that war had been declared on the American police officer led by some high-profile people, one of them coming out of the White House, one coming out of the uh, uh, United States Department of Justice. And uh, it's open season right now. There's no doubt about okay, it. Okay, that's Sheriff David Clark, and he goes on to say yes. And I'm going to get into problems with the police and how they can be reformed. But the very globalists that have federalized and militarized our police that have run these policies are now having the media demonize and hype bad examples and then projecting it onto jurisdictions and police and sheriff's departments all over the country to make them the scapegoat for economic and cultural problems instead of it being the actual ruling establishment. Just like the very same megabanks 
that are tax exempt and get trillions of taxpayer money and bailouts are the ones funding the open borders, the ones funding the anti-gun moves, and the ones funding the push to raise taxes on the middle class. They scapegoat the middle class, like the greedy middle class, and people being well-to-do and upper middle class is what's hurting poor people. They blame scapegoats for the overall system of globalism that is so unpopular and that is creating so much poverty and ignorance. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. The brainwashing media machine has been turned turned up on high, and it's time for humanity to double down on the true people's media and strike back against the tyrants that are destroying our civilization with their lies and fraud. We are the resistance. You are the resistance. You are the info war. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv.